Right. I just wanted to ask one question, okay? And you have to be honest, yeah? Does it? Okay. How do you feel about the recent war and the occupation and invasion that's happening? Okay. How do you feel as a Zionist? You, Ukraine? No, I'm asking you, how do you no, feel? No, I'm saying which war? The Ukrainian war? Well, is there another one? There's many wars all around the world, but in the West we tend to focus only on one of them. But yeah, yeah. you're talking about the Ukrainian yeah, war. How do you feel about that? I, I think it's a terrible war, yeah. And can I preempt your question? No, 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 but I'm... I'm Are you going to make the very, very, very... No, no, I'm, 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 I'm talking about Palestine. Ali, 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 you said you'd you say this all. Yeah, I think what we see here is every time there is a conflict, Palestinian anti-Israel activists will try to make it about Palestine. They will hijack every single cause yeah. and make it about them. As, as a million Ukrainians are forced to flee their houses, Russian bombs drop on families. Ali wants to make this about the Palestinians. Last year, in almost every year of the conflict, for the last 10 years, less than 100 people have died on both sides of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Yet Ali wants to make an equivalency between the Ukrainians and the Palestinians. It's disgraceful and shameless. Shame on you, Ali, for hijacking the suffering of Ukrainians. Absolutely. You finished? You're just personifying. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know, did you guys did you guys see that? Did you see the emotions he had to drive through, you know, the Ukrainians and, and what they're going through and people are being bombed and killed? And I was talking about Palestine. Do you, do you guys see what's happening? One second, one second, one second. Because he knows the moment I mentioned war, occupation and invasion and kill of innocent people, he had to ask me, Ali, what are you talking about? Because he knows it's not just Ukraine, it's Palestine. And this is the reason why, do you see how we had to preempt it by saying, and there you go, and that's why his side man here can't help himself. The moment I mentioned war, invasion, occupation, the first thing that came to his mind is Ukraine. He did, but what we're talking about here is Palestine. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you very much. Thank you, Namdan. That's what I wanted. Thank you very much. That is exactly our point. It's on the drive-by. War, occupation, squeak, invasion, squeak, and he Ukraine, and in Palestine. Thank you very much. You squeak, 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 and squeak, please. Because you know why? You know why? This is a coward. He's afraid to This is the reason why squeaks and runs. Ali ISIS squeaks and runs every time. Thank you. So basically, guys, I did a social experiment yesterday. No, you didn't. No, no, no. No, this is one part of it. This is just the icing on the cake, yeah? I went to people and I was like, I said to them, how do you feel about the war, the occupation and the invasion? They were like, outside worse families of worse Russia. What's Russia doing? And then I said, Russia, I'm talking about Netanyahu. I was like, I'm done. They were like, they were like, it's coming out tomorrow. And everybody was Oh, Palestine, oh, nobody, everybody was thinking about what? Ali, it's perverse what you did. Thank you very much, guys. Look, the tower cameras, they film and they run. As a Zionist. Can you imagine? Drive by, drive by, drive by, squeak, 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 run away like little field mice. Thank you. Do you see the irony of a Zionist complaining about Ukraine? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? A Zionist who supports Israel bombing Palestinians. and Palestinians. Is he is crying about line? Ukraine. Oh my, oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my God. Thank you very much, guys. Gracious me. We have a lot of him. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. I just want to speak about the affairs that is taking place right now in our time, the current affairs, which is the war that is taking place between Russia and, and Ukraine. You know, Islam forbids, in, uh, forbids injustice, oppression. And what Putin is doing against the Ukrainian civilians is haram. It's forbidden, unjust. Killing innocent people is forbidden. Invading people's countries without justific uh, justif uh, justified reason is forbidden. You understand? And now, but what? Well, something catch my attention. That did you did you know that uh, uh, Bush, the ex-president or the the president that invaded Iraq, he said about Putin, his war against Ukraine is unjustified. Yes, it's unjustified. But if you're not if you listen to.
to Putin, he's using the same wording that Bush used when he wanted to invade Iraq. So why is halal for Bush and it's halal for Putin? You see, you know, when, the, when there's a fit and when there's a war, Allah sometimes, subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's no way to expose the hypocrites except by that which will look at as evil. It's evil from our angle. War and, uh, I mean, this type of war will kill innocent people, you know? However, expose people. For example, there is a Ukrainian man blew up himself to destroy a bridge in order for the Russian to not come to Ukraine, yeah? They called him a hero. But when a Muslim does say he's a terrorist, so I'm thinking, what is the criteria? When you're gonna call this man hero, and you're gonna call him a terrorist? When you're gonna call them free, freedom fighters? As for Islam, killing yourself is forbidden. Killing yourself is forbidden. Allah said, do not kill yourself. You see? So what we, do, what we see, there's many hypocrisies happening now. So when the, our Palestinian brothers and sisters, and the Butrika, the Egyptian footballer, in a football match, he showed a t-shirt in supporting our brothers and sisters in Palestine. The FIFA said they find him. They said they're not, bro they're, they're not bring politics into football. How come we see all the footballers carrying the Ukrainian flag? I thought it's forbidden to bring the foot, uh, politics into football. No, it's halal for them, halal for the Muslims. So what is happening now? And of course, we're not saying we, we wish that the, the, the issue of the, the war be, uh, to be resolved. Because we don't like to innocent people being killed. It's as we say, haram and Islam forbidden, you know. However, many uh, uh, channels, many news, many uh, newspapers been exposed that have a double standard. And how come when Russia invade, when Russia sent the armies to kill the Syrians in Syria, it was the same year when Russia held the, the World Cup. Why did the, the United Nations didn't say, you know what, let us change the place because Russia are killing the Syrians. Why would see that why clear hypocrisy why double standard people have to see that when it comes from Muslims the complete different criteria but for themselves look subhanallah so I'm not saying it because I'm happy there's a war no no Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in the Quran and the Sunnah killing innocent people is haram to kill one innocent person as if you kill a whole mankind let alone killing children women and so on but how many years our brothers and sisters been been suffering in Palestine been oppressed in Palestine one why no one's Speaking about it, why the media coverage only covering what's happened in Ukraine? But when it comes to Palestine, Palestine five percent. But when it comes to Ukraine, ninety-five percent. You know, Subhanallah. When I was listening to Putin, I thought, let me let me rewind my memory. Bush and Blair said the same thing. Let me go back. Bush said the same thing. We're going to invade Iraq because Saddam is a tyrant, and the people Saddam is killing the the Kurdish. Yeah. So we need to help them. Putin, he said, the leader of Ukraine is a tyrant. He's killing the minority who are Russians. So he's coming to help them. Shamsi, you, what see the hypocrisy? The you see the hypocrisy? You see the hypocrisy? Which is between Muslims and Muslims. That's a good question. Why there's a war? West involved. Yeah, there's a good uh, can, can you tell me, Palestine. can you name me one war happened between the Muslims in the 50s? Syria. Not, not the 50s, no. Tell me which year? Uh, the last 10 years, Syria. Who, who was invaded? In Iraq? No, in Iraq. In, in Syria, there's a civil war. No, no, no. In Syria, yeah. Russia got uh, involved to save uh, Bashar. That is true. Yeah. 